May and I founded 55 Capital because we saw both the need and the opportunity to take institutional quality asset allocation and investment management uh, to the entire marketplace. Lee and I met several years ago while I was still teaching at the Wharton School. We spoke about how the asset management industry was changing and I always admired what was built at iShares because it democratized building blocks for a much broader audience. Now this was seven years ago. In those seven years, ETFs have grown exponentially. They've gone from probably hundreds to thousands of ETFs, from hundreds of billions in assets to trillions in assets. So we kept in touch and we came to the conclusion that all the changes that was going on needed a new firm which started off on a clean sheet of paper to design the best solution for a broad-based investor group. Even professional investors today often need a specialist uh, to deal in certain areas. I myself was trained as an engineer and there was a time I could work on my own car or my TV broke, take the back off and fix it. But no one can do that anymore. We've reached somewhat of the same level of complexity in some areas of investments. With thousands of ETFs, for example, understanding their internal structure is very important. Also, when it comes to dynamic asset allocation strategies, those can be quite sophisticated and subtle, and so you need specialists in that area. At 55 Capital, we've taken the best of both worlds so that our investors can benefit from our knowledge of both parts.